This is the Doctor bringing you Battle Brothers, the Witcher's played through. We're about to fight a sea of tents with a large number of orcs, although only a few warriors and a warlord, but there will be uh, many young. Uh, by many, I mean like the camps, many orc young, plus the some orc young, so that's like a plethora, plus uh, quite a few berserkers as well. And facing off against the green menace, we have Pendant Blade, the Red Archer. A man whose skill with both blade and bow makes him uh, someone equipped with an arsenal of weapons. Just look at how incredible he is with his bow, his battle scarred blade, and this noble sword in the pocket. Truly an arsenal. And to his right, we have Baldemar, the Dark Archer. Some might say he's a magician with the bow, this oversized swift wind. He never misses with his um, famed bow and incredible range skill. It's like performing a magic trick. The Red Archer plus the Dark Archer it is so amazing. I am excited beyond words for this upcoming battle. Uh, but before we get to that, let's assign a few perk points because this will be a serious fight. Sir Lanto, you do so much damage, uh, I can't not give you Berserk. I'm going to hold on to the last uh, perk point. So congratulations on Berserk, buddy. Um, Alaton, uh, you have a lot of good options, but I think I'm still going to hold off on you. Rhea, Enforcer, I realize I kind of made a mistake. Um, it's not a mistake mistake, but I kind of wish I did something different with him. A long time ago when we first got Baltimore, I was thinking about doing the Legolas build. What I mean is someone who has a dagger in the pocket and a ranged weapon and overwhelm. So if the enemy gets close to you, you quick hands the dagger and you start overwhelming them. It's actually kind of a neat gimmick uh, if you have melee skill, range skill, and melee defense. Uh, I should and uh, this character Enforcer actually had melee defense. So what I should have been doing all along is upping his melee defense. Uh, and then if I were to do that, get him like 20, 25, maybe 25 melee defense. The triple overwhelm uh, will allow him to solo most enemies. You would take fast adaptation uh, and uh, fearsome, of course. Uh, fast adaptation is strictly necessary. You should probably get bags and belts so you can have a few more tricks in the pocket. You could take Executioner, but I don't think it's real that uh, really critical. Uh, your main damage is going to come from, like, Fearsome. So the point is, the enemy can't hit you, but you can, like, eventually puncture them down. You probably take Recover. Uh, it's good against one character. Like, you can face off against, like, one Chosen or one Warlord or something like that. Maybe not a warlord, those are still very dangerous. But you would not try to fight multiple enemies at once, that's how you die. It would be a cute gimmick, because um, enemies love beelining your ranged units. So you can like pretend to expose Enforcer, they get up in your face and you triple stab them. If they go away, you bust out your gun and start shooting. Um, guns combo extremely well with daggers, because guns and crossbow because firing them is 3 AP so you can shoot once like you can with a crossbow you can point blank them then double stab uh, double puncture with the dagger I'm not saying it's a great build but it is hilarious uh, when you pull it off and one-on-one -on -one, it is surprisingly effective uh, you could always have bags and belt with a shield in the pocket if I had a shield and a dagger with the triple overwhelm, like enemies uh, will roll 5% on you uh, all the time. You'll eventually kill them. So it is uh, very, very strong. However, I haven't upped your melee defense. And uh, like, it's just, I've gone too far away from that. There's no chance of doing that build anymore. I should have thought about this like way back when I first got you. I wasn't sure what to do with you, but um, it's my fault for not building you out in that more interesting manner. So I have sort of made you like an anti-range gunner, like the reason why I upped range defense was I was thinking about having you fight goblins. So I'm definitely going to take Colossus. 
here and uh, you just need a bit more hit points. And I'm probably going to take Anticipation and Pathfinder. You're just going to be like focused on killing goblins. You'll have some utility to swap to the long axe in certain fights. Could be relevant like this fight for example. Uh, there's another way of doing this. If I didn't up melee skill at all, you could go Growing Mastery. And then you pack like Growing Weapons, especially Axes to take care of Undead. Also a very, very strong build. You go Growing Mastery and uh, Duelist. So there's tons of options with um, a handgun user. Uh, the strongest build by far is you just get two guns and you uh, like quick hands to the other gun, you reload it. Then you have two shots, you have four of these. They all have fearsome. Like anything that has morale will be crushed in one round. You just auto win, like any fight where there's living enemies. But I'm not gonna do that because it is ridiculously overpowered and boring. Uh, all right, what's next? Gedgy, I'm gonna give you footwork. I'm a little worried about you. I like footwork or rotation on the dedicated poarm users. Uh, if I had higher uh, ta uh, defense, I'd probably go with rotation. But footwork uh, will be very solid. And I think that's all we need for this upcoming fight. All right, let's get to it. The Dark Archer. Yes. And the Red Archer. Versus 22 orcs. Lots of biggins. Three warriors, all right. I'm liking this high ground. I'm liking it a lot. I want to put my archers up on there. I'm going to cut to reposition. All right, I've fallen back to give my archers a slightly better position. I'm going to Indom, Cleogan, and Doc Morphine. Try to funnel the orcs into the middle. Let's wait for them to get closer before we unleash a volley of arrows. All right. Pendant. Well, how are you missing? Hmm. Gonna wait on Enforcer. Thinking about giving him Relentless, too. Well done, low settings. Reload the crossbow. You shoot that Orc Berserker. Too bad no injury. Let's swap you to the battle standard. Oh, this would have been so perfect for Enforcer to have that build. Like, they're gonna rush him, thinking like it's a good idea, but it's not. Oh, I should have swapped to the whip and, uh. Whoops, that was a mistake on Igor. Ah, it's fine. Wait on Raul. I also equipped Alatown with poison because I'm thinking he might need a poison to Orc Warlord. But there's no rush on that. So again, you know what to do, Indom. Gonna back long go up, keep the spear wall up. Oh, he's got a man splitter. It's gonna split us, huh? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Baltimore. Show these orcs what you're made of. All right, you got a stack of headhunters, something to keep in mind. Of course, you can hit three of them. Sure, buddy. Good enough. Ah, oh, you killed that berserker. Well done. It's fine. All right, we'll stay put. Altan, um... Might actually need you on the other flank, but let's stay put for now.
Yes, Klugen likes it when you attack him. Oh, hello, orc boys. You didn't like that, did you? I'm going to end my turn immediately. Hmm. Actually, uh, not very many good shots on Pendant. I'm actually going to wait for a better opportunity for him. Igor, move up. Well done on the break. Wait. Baltimore, you have Headhunter up. It would be ideal if you can shoot someone who uh, has no head armor. Like this one. 95%. Well done, buddy. Oh, you have another stack of Headhunter. This Orc Warrior is probably going to come in. That is quite okay. It would be ideal if you could shoot that Berserker. 68% despite being blocked. That's... Oh. Alright. Well, you killed that fleeing work. That was still something. But that was a little too good. I suppose I could have waited. Low settings. What should you do? You're going to wait. I might need a net or some such. Alright. Igor got stunned, but it's fine. He'll recover. Raul, coming. Give him the old split. You might get stunned, so wait. This one might just break, and he's not going to do anything. So, Alaton, move up. Swap to your gruesome ripper, and give that orc a cut arm sinew. You might adrenaline, so wait. Yeji, moving, give these orcs the old slash, and end your turn immediately. Uh, they're not going to push or stun you, I don't think, Cleogan. So wait. Alright, uh, Igor is potentially going to get pushed, but that's okay. Longo, keep up the spear wall. Might as well unequip your shield. Might get stunned. Alright, I see where that orc is going. Wait on Doc Morphine. Sir Lanto, please take care of this berserker for us. Pendant honestly does not have many good shots. This is why he has an arsenal of weapons. A little worried about um i'm gonna put low settings up here make sure we have that morale buff don't see the point of adrenaline with Alaton. definitely the most worried about that work with the man splitter play again good work double hit Doc Morphine, you need to Indom for sure. That should be it. Sir Lanzo, please take care of that clown for us. Now, rushing out seems like a terrible idea, doesn't it? Why don't we put Sir Lanzo back here? Oh, hello, Mr. Orcs. Where do I have a great shot? This will hit four of them. This will hit five of them. Although the warriors probably are not going to feel it. This will hit four soft targets. That seems better. 
plus the overwhelm. And your turn immediately, Enforcer. Hmm, that was a very rude javelin. Aw. Oh. Raul, why do you get stunned? Longo? What? That was... That was a disappointing performance, Longo. I don't know how you got stunned from that. Kind of want to wait for some better shots. But if I shoot into this mess and I scatter, that's still a good result. Yeah? Baltimore, and your turn immediately, buddy. Igor? You know what to do. Can any of these... So some of these might actually still rush me. So Igor's gonna double hit on this warrior. Wow, that weapon's so good. You're already bleeding that orc warrior. Good damage on that helmet and armor. Just wait. Not sure what to do with low settings yet, so you're gonna wait. Pendant. Give him the old swing. One, two, three, four. If he rushes in here, that could be a problem for Pendant. As much as I would love to make that move, like, I can't move Pendant anywhere else. Although, he might come here. Because I can move Sir Lanzo back up. I'm gonna take a risk. End your turn immediately, Pendant. I could drop a dog. That would prevent the Warlord. Um... Actually, almost certainly the right move to drop a dog. But there are other tricks I can do, so just end your turn, Pendant. We don't even need a dog. Gotta get Alaton over there. But at the same time... Forefather's Fury. Smashing this orc is a little too good. Wait, you're probably gonna Adrenaline. Geji, move over, do a massive AOE. I'm not worried about this orc young that's breaking. Get the warrior and your turn immediately. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Go again, taunt that thing. I was afraid of that, but it's okay. I know what he's gonna do. He's going to um, round swing. He's pretty slow though. And Pendant has enough fatigue to footwork. He also has a really good chance of roaring. This one's taunted. So, the plan is low settings is going to draw a net. That should guarantee this guy to act so slowly. We're going to rotate Rau. Might take some hits from this Orc Berserker. That's to be expected. Uh, do they have any more stuns? This one might actually stun like Raul. So I'm gonna wait on the rotation. There's no need to do it yet. 
Officer Lanso. You don't have Overwhelm, but that's okay. You'll be fine. Your defenses are supreme. Uh, your fencing sword is not going to do much, though. All right, that orc got a cheeky hit off. That's fine. I could also just smoke pot uh, to get my guys out. But I kind of only have the one smoke pot. I need to move low settings. Let's move him here. Because I need to be able to get pendant now. Adrenaline will allow me to kill and then it hit. It's a pretty big deal, actually. Kilgan's taunted. Alright, Doc Morphine. Rotate Rauing. This one is going to take two swings at Rau. What's Rau's defense right now? He has Underdog, right? Yeah, 34, so he's he has a good chance of hitting, but we should be able to counterattack and kill him. And then just... He might get stunned by this Orc Young. We can't have that. Yeah. Alright, well done. Alaton killing that Orc Warrior. Now you broke another one. The uh, Warlords are uh, having some morale problems. Good. You might as well... Uh, End your turn now. You've done what you needed to do. Sir Lanso, you don't have Overwhelm, so attacking twice right now doesn't actually make any sense. Might as well just wait. Like, might have a better opportunity. Enforcer is actually fine. So if this Orc Warrior pushes Raul back, that's totally acceptable. Uh, Pendant's going to footwork himself out of there. Enforcer, why don't you do something productive for us right now? Swap to the Long Axe. Go for the 86. Beautiful work. Their entire line has collapsed. Uh, you might as well wait. Might take, yep, some hits here. Uh, but Raul is fine. He has a... Uh, nine lives don't forget about that you look fantastic buddy with your helmet gone this is the true look for you Rao. look at how beautiful you look with that uh male shirt with the unhold cloak all right all right these uh these orcs are a little resistant you killed the berserker buddy what was that uh 80 percent huh all right that's fine give the uh warlord the old whack now your defenses are 51, thanks to all this reach advantage. Um, they can't possibly stun you, so you might as well end your turn immediately. Baldemar, you could headshot some of these clowns. Let's get this one in the back. Ooh, right in the noggin. Again! Alright, you didn't hit him in the noggin, but that's okay. Uh, what is this orc warrior? Oh, there's a- I didn't even see that orc young up there. He's gonna try to stun Raul. If I saw him, I wouldn't. I would have waited. Huh. That was uh, interesting. All right, Igor, go for this. Young, their entire line has collapsed. So Igor, move up here to prevent these guys from rallying. Low settings. You have to swap out to the banner because they're gonna. This warlord's gonna do his roar nonsense. So you wait. Pendant. You could swing and footwork, right? Yeah, but then you would have no fatigue. What's he gonna do? He's gonna roar or he's gonna break out the net and try to push their lanso to get to you again, Pendant. Uh, I don't see any reason to risk anything. This Orc Young back there, he's, he's not doing just um, get yourself to a safe place like back here should be fine and you can end your turn immediately huh their entire line is collapsed just wait longo 19% from the orc warrior 
Get Genji up there. Clear again. We'll wait in reserve. Doc Morphine will actually recover in preparation for next turn. All right, he did the round swing, which is what I expected. Now we just cut down the orcs as they flee. All right, Sir Lance, do your thing. settings you have footwork right getting position get ready to attack that warlord longo recover gaji also getting position go again uh recover i'm gonna need your morale sir lanzo is gonna wait your hits don't do enough enforcer 95 percent well done that Fearsome and Overwhelm combo, looking good. Uh, might as well wait. Igor, you could try to go for the Disarm, but I don't really see the point. Just go for the kill. There we go. This fight's... Uh, once we route the Warrior, the fight's going to be over. Baldemar, you did such a fantastic job, buddy. You really Dark Darchered it up. Go again, prevent these two from rallying. Bro, since there's only the one, give him the old whack. All right, didn't work. Pendant, you can wait. Geji, give this one the old whack as well. Uh, just end your turn immediately, Geji. That turns out we didn't need a goblin poison after all. Yes, go hit Rao. In fact, we could do more shenanigans. Doc Morphin can tank that warrior basically forever. And as we cut down the rest of the orcs, their uh, morale should collapse. All right. Uh, Sir Lanto, go get the warrior. The warlord is like done. Again, uh, no, you wait. These warlords should be unbreakable. Like, it's pretty ridiculous. All right, the battle's over. Uh, I just think it's pretty ridiculous you can break a warlord so easily. That was a fun little fight. Uh, Raul lost your helmet, but you look fabulous. Look at how much damage everyone did. Igor did 1k, Raul did 1k. Uh, Enforcer did uh, 900. Sir Lanzo didn't do much because he got stuck against that Warlord. Uh, Geji. Poarm users always like perform super well. Uh, and Pendant was very clutch too. So Baltimore did about the same as Pendant. Uh, not surprisingly. Very nice work everyone. No famed item of course because why would there be? I will take all the food and then uh, some of these weapons. Uh, I guess I take the medicine. I think I have 100 medicine though. Alright, that was a fun little fight. I had a ton of fun with Baldemar and Pendant. Oh, just, ah, uh, and Geji. Congratulations on the level up. You earned it, buddy. It definitely earned it. I'll take the plus three defense here. It's hard to get. And I'll take the uh, fatigue. 70 hit points isn't great, but if you're going to be on the back lines, you should be fine with that. Uh, I might not need Colossus on you. Um, your fatigue is... Uh, eh, it looks good, but I haven't actually given you real armor yet. So it's, it's not that amazing. Um, not sure what to do with you. Ooh, Longo. Congratulations on the level up, buddy. Got to get your hit points to 80. That's your main weakness right now. Well done. 
Uh, let's see. You lost your hat, Raul. We gotta repair this hat, though. But in the meantime, have a different hat. We have a lot of tools, which is good. Let's keep exploring. Find, uh, find something else to fight. That was such a fun fight, wasn't it? Oh, I had a lot of fun in that fight. What happened? What was that? Oh, no, that was a net I had a unequipped from Pendant. Uh, all right, Pendant. Uh, why don't you have, for now, some bandages? All right, let's find one more orc camp to kill for the ambition. Ooh, a mountain. Let's find something from climbing this mountain. Nothing. There could be something up here, but I don't think it's worth backtracking. Uh, I do want to find at least one more orc camp before I go to the Kraken. All right, come on. What was that? Unholds, yes, I would definitely fight unholds. And there's a little mountain over here for us to stand on. Hmm, six of them. I kind of feel like the orcs are priorities right now, but like I'm gonna stand on this mountain, see what we see. Oh, that's a legendary location with some unhold loot. Eh, I could go get that anytime. I'm not in a rush for that. Um, I really want to orc camp though. I want to do the finish the ambition before I. Um, Go kill the Kraken. Six unholds is such a nice little fight, though. Mm, but we're not... I, I suppose I could go this way and then east. And then make a loop down south like this. And then... But now we're in goblin territory. Also, what's the food situation looking like? Unholds will give us food. Like, they drop a lot of strange meat. <laughs> Uh, uh, um, I suppose I go fight the unholds. It's not that I'm afraid of them, of course. It's just I'm trying to think. I want to try to do the Kraken by like day 92 ish. Already day 88. So if we do the Kraken Day 92, we need to take a little bit of time to go sell. Like, I still have that Day 100 challenge, right? Uh, and I want to make sure I have enough time to truly prepare for it. Like, I could kill Unholds uh, some other time. Ah, oh, come on. Well, there were Orc camps around here. I remember finding Orc camps around here. It just feels kind of mm, out of the way to chase the unholds down. All right, well, let's let's try it. There could be something over here. Okay, they're they're being they're getting stuck in the forest. That's perfect. I'm not going to record six unholds. It's a trivial battle. Uh, our witch hunter took a cheeky hit. I got sloppy. Let an unhold take a swing. He has a fractured whip. Not a really a big deal. Some armor damage. It's hard to avoid when they're AoEing so much. Um, but the only real mistake was uh, on the witch hunter. We have enough uh, giant skulls to craft two more bone plating. That's good news. All right, Sir Lancel's hat got damaged. Those unhoods were truly very, very rude. I put on bad armor on Sullius because I thought he might get hit, and I would just toss the armor. But well, since we're over here, 
Might as well take a look on this mountain before heading east. Uh, I could head straight to the Kraken, but I really want to make sure to do the orc ambition. What is this? Orcs? Okay, there could be orcs down there. As long as I find at least one more camp, I'll go do the ambition. Mm, yeah, I see the warriors, but... Like, it kind of tells me there is likely a camp here. Uh, I suppose there could be a camp over here. But it's hard to say, and I kind of want to scout east more. So I'm going to keep this in mind. Like, there may be some orc camps in here or out here. It's uh, possible, but we'll keep that in mind. But I feel like we might have better luck further east. I don't like these forests. Uh, what is this? Strats? I'll go fight those. I guess we are going to the forest. Then I can hit up this mountain. That should find us some more orcs to kill before we go fight the Kraken. How many is the real question? Six. We've beaten this comp before. It's not particularly challenging. I definitely want to fight them. They have uh, good drops. Uh, yeah, this should be... I mean, I'm going to do this off camera. In fact, I think this is a good place to pause the video. Uh, we've already killed six strats before. So six more should not be uh, too much of a challenge for us. Uh, could be an orc camp here. Keep that in mind. Or here. Um, but I want to scout east, try to find uh, myself a different orc camp to fight. Kind of low on food. That's our biggest concern right now. Alright, well, thank you for watching. Until next time.